All right, what is up? What is up, mi gente? Welcome to our podcast. I'm David Rios. You're watching David Rios TV on YouTube, Facebook. Donde más? Ahí veo ahorita. Everywhere. It's, everywhere. Uh, IGTV. Uh, you name it, they, you got it. You, you get the link, you can watch it anywhere. And I'm really excited, really honored. This is my first podcast here in my studio. And what a way to este, brindar con broche de oro. Yeah, Abrir grand opening with a super talented... And I'm honored to call you a friend, Mr. Sonny Salceda, three-time Grammy Award winner. Well, thank you. Welcome gracias. to the podcast, well, Sonny. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I've known it. you for many years. I mean, uh, so what you're telling me is I'm your guinea pig, right? No. <laughs> I've actually done two other podcasts. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I've actually done two other podcasts, but this is my first one here in the studio. In the studio. No, I, I appreciate it. So, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm figuring out all the quinks, the That's, kinks and, and quirks. I, I'm always that guy, but it always works out. My album... The latest album is I Was the Guinea Pig at Music Ranch Studios. Really? De, de veras. Y salió machín. Salió más o menos, I mean. No, salió machín. Sí, Sonny, man. Sonny, man. Machinzote. Salió machinzote. Bien, machinzote. Bien perrón. Man, Sonny, so many things I want to talk to you about. I've known you for years. Yeah. And we're here. I mean, you got a special show coming up next week, el 26 de enero at ACL. Yeah. Uh, downstairs at 310 ACL Live. But before we get into yeah. all the show, sure. platícame, este, what is uh, Sonny Salcedo been up to? But I also want to, for the people who don't know you, let me start off with some background. The beginning, the Porque backstory. Tengo mucha gente, hay, Mexicanos te siguen, oh, hay, Americanos te siguen, everybody knows you, but for the people that don't know a little bit about Sonny Salceda, you are what people would call a Tejano artist. Tejano, sí. Yeah. Tejano artist, 100%. Hueso Colorado, from I, San Antonio, I, Texas. Los que no saben mucho, los que no, los que no saben es que cuando tenía como 15, yo tocaba con un grupo norteño. Yeah, they live in San Antonio. We, we just play puro, puro norteño, man. And uh, so I have that, that, um, ese sentido, verdad, mexicano, you know, porque my, my parent, my grandparents are from San Luis on one side, and then Monterrey, and then further back, so somos de Veracruz, so somos jarochos. Jarochos. Yeah, yeah. Now, Sonny, he's played with many bands. Ha tocado con muchos grupos tejanos. Mm -hmm. Y en los últimos, how many years have you been solo now? Pues ya tengo como, ya voy para 14 años, pero, you know, comencé con, of course, Eddie, Eddie González. Sí, pero a lo mejor mucha gente mexicanos no sabe, especially the newer generation, yes. might not know the history, might not know Grupo Vida, might not know. Yes. Uh, so let's do this for the, for the Tejanos. You used to be, you started off, you and Eddie. It was me and Eddie. It was you and Eddie. Yes. How did, that's, yes. how, how did you guys come together? And I don't know yes. you've said this story a thousand times no, yeah. in many radio station interviews, but this is la primera vez que vemos aquí en este podcast. How did you and Eddie... Gonzalez, yeah. okay, one of Tejano's we, greatest performers, without know, a doubt. We, I went, well, so, you know, I always say, I've been, a, I'm just at the right place at the right time. I've never, I've never, I'm not as good as people think I am. I went to audition for Bajo Sexto, uh, for Eddie Gonzalez. It was not Eddie, it was his manager, Hector Flores, who used to work with my accordion player at Kelly Air Force Base. And it took me like almost a year to show up to audition. I was not ready for that yet. I used to play with my dad's conjunto. You didn't think you were good enough, or you were just waiting for the right moment? I was the feeling. Yeah, I was. Pues tocaba con mi papá. I mean, we had a conjunto, and they used to call me El Chaparrito Picoso. So in San Antonio, the old musicians, you know, they remember me like yeah. that as a bajo, bajo sexto player. Yeah. So I showed up to the audition. What What year were you born, just so that I can get? 77. 77. So you're two years older than me. I'm 43, you're 41. Man. Yes, yes. I was born in 75. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out, más o menos, la época. Yes. So this was must have been the early 80s. It was mid 80s. Mid 80s. Well, I was playing, yeah, during the 80s, conjunto music. And I was in the bars probably by the, by the time I was three or four with my dad. But with Eddie, I mean, audition, I probably auditioned in like 94, 93, 94, somewhere around there. And he had just come out with an Ay Carinito CD. And um, so they called me for the audition. I showed up with my bajo sexto. Mi papá siempre was... Was Eddie already big at this time? He was very, he was up and coming. He had two he albums. Had, he hadn't come out, with, okay. He had two albums. It was Solo Tuyo. Yeah. No, no, 100% Tejano on Sony. Mm -hmm. He had the Ay Carinito album that had just came out. And I know it, it was, it had to have That's been. the one that broke him out with Necesito and all no, that? No, no. You were on Necesito. I was, af yeah, after that was, when I came into the band was a, was during the release of Ica Ringito, which had to have been, I want to say it was in February, because we played, I'd never forget it, my first gig that I played with Eddie Gonzalez after the whole audition thing, uh, it was March 13th, which is my lucky number, 
95 because Ramiro Burr. 13 is my lucky number, too. Is it really? I was born on the 13th, yeah. My and a wife, lot of things happened on the 13th. My wife was, too, and I got married on the 13th. So so I was my first gig with Eddie for the release of I Cariñito. Ramiro Burr wrote an article about Eddie Gonzalez, but in there he threw the kick, adding flame to the fire, the high energy from the day one. But I wasn't going to play accordion. I auditioned for Bajo Sexto. Y el, el acordeonista que iba, he was in the audition, iba tarde. Y mi papá siempre me decía, no, mijo, el, you know, you, you know, get there, and, uh, you know, it's better to be an hour early than a minute late. Yo siempre llegaba temprano, llegué con mi bajo sexto, con el acordeón, and the guy was running late, so um, they told me, we know, we, we heard you play accordion a little bit. I played el subibaja, and the rest is history. 